Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Morning Coffee Scripture. Today we're going to continue with where we are. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 22 and 23. And you read thusly. Keep all my decrees and laws and follow them, so that the land where I am bringing you to live may not vomit you out. You must not live according to the customs of the nation. I am going to drive out before you. Because they did all these things, I abhorred them. And the topic for today is various laws of God. God gave many rules to his people, but not without reason. He did not withhold good from them. He only prohibited them those acts that will bring them to ruin. All of us understand God's physical laws of nature. For example, jumping off a 10-story building means death because of the law of gravity. But some of us don't understand how God's spiritual laws work. God forbids us to do certain things because he wants to keep us from self-destruction. Next time you are drawn to a forbidden physical or emotional pleasure, remind yourself that its consequence might be suffering and separation from the God who is trying to help you. I'm going to say that again. Next time you are drawn to a forbidden physical or emotional pleasure, remind yourself that its consequence might be suffering and separation from the God who is trying to help you. On this verse, we continue and God is continued to say, what is your sin and what is my sin? What is it that deprives you from going to the presence of God? You pray and you fast and you go into church. You are one of the clergy. You are one of the pastors. You are one of the choir member. You are, you are you do everything in the church, but still there are certain things in your cupboard that you are hiding. There are still hidden sins that you cannot even tell anyone that you are doing. What is it, my brothers and sisters? What is it that you cannot let go? What is it that because the verse said it? I said he said the, uh, the the Bible said it that uh, that. Uh, uh, if, that we should stay away from anything that will make us regret not to come in presence of God. Listen, whatever we do, it's like well, during the time they do the lockdown, lockdown, and even now people still do the lockdown. A lot of us think that, oh, why are they locking us down? Why is this that? This is the same law that God is using then. God is still telling us today. Our lockdown today is go into your shell, remove yourself, remove that filthy clothes, remove that coat of sin, remove that sin that you are hiding. Is that is that alcohol? Is that is that a sin of sexual? Because he keeps on saying of sexual sins and sexual sins and sexual sins that God disgusts every sin. No sin is so small in presence of God. All sin is the same. But it, what is your sin? Is it gossip? Is it jealousy? Is it a sin that that you just don't know how to mind your business? Is it a sin that makes you busy in this market world and don't know how to calm yourself down, mind your business? Or is it a sin that you can't even know how to be yourself? You can't, you can't withstand yourself. You, you, you just can't be alone. You're looking for someone to be with all the time because you feel that that makes you happy. The pleasure of sins, hidden sins, my brothers and sisters. That is what God is saying in Leviticus. That we should come out of our hidden sins. Come out of our sin. Every sin. S-I-N is sin. Anything that will deprive us. Deprive us from coming into the presence of God. Anything that will make us not to be free to worship God. In praising the spirit and truth. Anything that will make us not to know who God is. God is saying to you my brother. God is calling you my sister. And God is saying to us. Repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Let those sins go. And come into his presence. Into his bosom. Come into his presence. And that prayer you are praying. That thing that you need in your life. You will get it. God bless you. I'll see you in another morning coffee edition. Amen. This passage in the book of Leviticus. Is telling us of God's holiness. And that he abhor 
uncleanness. Illustration of those things God pointed out to Moses to tell Aaron in verse 20, 22. God said, if they don't keep this, that the land will vomit them out. Wow. This means that uncleanliness is an obstacle to greatness. The question today is, what is that thing that makes us unclean, that is hindering us from entering the presence of God? We are the error of our time, and the Bible is the Moses of our time. The book of Leviticus states God saying to Moses, Tell Aaron what is God saying to us today? That we are not doing which makes the land of prosperity, the land of mercy, the land of good health, and the land of wealth. Keeps vomiting us out into obscurity, into oblivion, where the hardship of life has caked our destiny. Why? Prayer. Dear God. Have mercy on me and guide me in the midst of it all and help me to bring more unbelievers into your kingdom as you called and choose me to bear fruit for you. Please help me to teach and preach your gospel so that you will gain all the glory in Jesus Christ, the glory of Israel's name. Amen. God bless you all mightily. This Reverend Joy in Wachiko. Amen. Bye now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All the links are above.